Good morning. Welcome to Food for Thought. My name is Pastor Clint Lang from Hillside Community Church in 100 Mile House, BC, Canada. I'm glad that you could join me for this morning's devotions. It's Monday, March the 1st, 2021. So this morning, we're going to be continuing into our series on the uh, parables of Jesus. Today's parable that we're focusing on is the parable of the lamp on the stand. And this parable is found in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. And in this parable, Jesus was speaking to his disciples, and he said this, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds, and glorify your Father within, who is in heaven. So before we became believers, we, we were dead to God in our spirit because of our sins. All of us are sinners, and we fall short of God's glory. And before we were saved, I mean, we could call out to Him, and He would hear us, and, you know, we could um, live our lives, and He would see us, where we were, but we had no real relationship with him. We were dead to him because of our sins. Now, when we believed in our Lord Jesus Christ, we cried out to the Lord for mercy, and the Lord forgave us, and he took away our sins, washing our spirits as white as snow. And he did this for a reason. You see, in John chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus said that he is the light of the world. So, in the character of God is, is light. The light of God shines through his character. Jesus died for our sins to make us a clean place for his Holy Spirit to dwell. So, when Jesus died and took away our sins, he scrubbed us clean, washing us white as snow, to prepare us to be a sanctuary for the Holy Spirit. And then when he ascended into heaven... We were left with the Spirit of God, and uh, that Spirit is light. Everything about God is light. He doesn't dwell in any darkness. There's no shadow within him. So, in effect, what Jesus did is that he made us lanterns. Now, God, God intended us to be lanterns. He always made us uh, with a God-shaped void inside that only he can fill and when he fills it his light his spiritual light shines out of the windows of our spirit into the world so when we walk around we can't be hidden i mean the spirit of god lives within us and shines through us we're like a town as it says or a city on a hill that cannot be hidden therefore you know we're meant to shine light. We're meant to be bearers of this light. We're meant to be on a stand, on display, so that the dark corners of the world would be uh, exposed. So when we walk in the world as spiritual bearers of God's light, um, we're not fulfilling our duty and our purpose unless we're shining. So when we hide our witness, by both our words and our actions. In fact, we're, we're uh, not fulfilling our purpose. So Jesus encourages us to shine our lights before men, that they may see our good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. So it's not just enough to speak the gospel. Yes, the world needs to hear the gospel because without... A messenger, they don't know about uh, the good news. We are supposed to proclaim the good news wherever we go. And many of us are afraid that maybe, you know, we might not say it the right way or, you know, we might get uh, into a place where we can't answer someone's questions. So out of fear, we hide the light. But God says, don't be afraid. He's going to be with us. After all, the light within us is not our own light. It is the light of the Spirit of God living in us. So step forward in faith and shine your light 
Tell people about Jesus. Tell them about what he's done for you and how he's cleaned you inside and how he's filled you and given you his light in your spirit. He's given you everlasting life. That's a wonderful gift uh, that needs to be shared. Uh, we were never meant to be uh, holding that to ourselves. We were always meant to share the light with others so it shines into the dark corners of their lives. Now, along with that, there is, uh, there is good works. So I can say all I want, but unless I'm following that up with good deeds and actions to show people that I care about them and that I love them, they're not going to listen to what I have to say. That's why Jesus said, Shine your light before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. You see, we're meant to be not just speakers of the Word of God, but doers of the Word of God by loving practically. And that means wherever we go, we should always be on the lookout for a way that we can love others practically. Now, that might mean shoveling your neighbor's driveway. It might mean baking a tray of cookies for the widow down the street. It might mean visiting someone in the hospital when they're sick. It's tempting just to hide that light and to be selfish with it. And God's calling us to step out of our shells, take a step of faith, do the right thing, um, and be uh, what God has called you to be. Well, that's what Jesus was saying in this parable. This is food for thought.